What's up, Pan Dudes? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I uh, bought myself this Nixon Sentry leather watch. Thought I'd show it to you. There it is, A105. 1602. This is a true unboxing. I just got it, so we'll take a look at it together. Uh, you may know the Nixon brand. They're in a lot of uh, watch stores, malls, fashion outlets, things like that. Um, pretty ubiquitous. That's kind of cool. I like that. Uh, and here it is. You know, not much to say for the case, just a, like a foam block that the uh, watch comes in. But the cool thing about Nixon is I don't really think they were around too much when I first started buying watches for myself. They kind of came on the scene a little bit later. I know that I used to buy a lot of fossils, and Nixon kind of competes in that range. It's about $100 for a, a, a decent Nixon. I've seen some go up to other price points but the cool thing about this one is I just like the look of it right so first of all it is the Sentry and it comes in a couple color variations but I really like this one so it's got this tan leather band it's pretty thick as you can see several millimeters thick and it says genuine leather it looks like it's not tapered which is kind of cool I like those I've got a lot of watches that have these non tapered bands that that just tends to be kind of my my thing the flat bottom there I, you know I like that as well but I just like that this is really kind of a bold tan khaki it actually reminds me of oh you know a uh, uh, a nice leather car seat right kind of a older school but it's thick it's a little stiff it's not as soft as some of the other leathers that I've seen um, that are also similar thickness but it's not the the hardest either no if no um, finish on the edge there it's just kind of the raw cut leather which is pretty cool and then this black and blue stitching here to hold the uh, wrap over together Kind of cool. I, I also like, you know, unlike some of the Shinolas, they put the stitching all the way across. I dig that too, but I like that uh, it kind of gives it a clean um, look here, kind of minimal, and it, it kind of draws the eye from the strap right up to the watch without you know, kind of an additional break there. Same thing on this side, a couple of uh, loops there, no uh, finishing on the edges, and then the Nixon buckle right there with Nixon on it. I know that some of the Nixons kind of come in a, uh, a really big, bold, oversized uh, shape that was kind of popular with them for a while, but this one isn't that big, and uh, it's about 42-ish millimeters, maybe 43 or 44, it kind of feels like, but yeah, it's not it's not a super big watch. Um, let's call it 42 because the calipers say that, and I'm not gonna I'm not going to I'm not gonna argue with the calipers. Um, but it looks good, and the one thing I really liked about this in the picture is it seemed like a nice, clean, modern design without being too bold, too brash, too industrial. It, it, it kind of gives you a little bit of this classic watch style. You can see there's no numerals on it, just hour markers, so it's kind of got a little bit of that um, that 80s style to it, uh, the, the, the very simple simple style uh, a clean look but yet it's modern and you wouldn't mistake this for a vintage watch at least in my eye you wouldn't uh, mistake it for a vintage watch because it has a distinctly modern look you know the thing about this that I really like are those hour markers not only are applied like a lot of those older watches but they're raised they're like little wedges um, and the cool thing about that is it gives the watch a really nice three-dimensional look almost like a deep cut wheel on a car right so if you look at cars with the spokes that are really straight up and down vertical flat with the side of the car that's actually very aerodynamic but when you have a really deep dish wheel um, particularly on the rear wheel of cars like the Viper and the Prowler and um, some of the new Audis and things like that and they and they kind of had this dramatic cut in it gives the wheel a lot more depth and the same thing on this watch face it just has a lot more depth even though there's really nothing fundamentally different about it now the dial is set pretty deep into the watch more so than other watches I would say almost you know five four or five millimeters um, so that kind of helps the look but to have these hour markers actually really uh, uh, kind of elevated off of the dial itself is pretty cool so 
those hour markers are really bright white, as well as the, the loom portion on the hands. It, it has a really good, uh, really closely matches. And, and the hands here are actually fairly unique. They're kind of like rocket shaped. Um, so they're not just needles or not uh, kind of any the typical shapes that I would see on a lot of watches and, and kind of the, the the broad sword style hands are kind of in vogue right now with a lot of the military and aviator style watches. So I really like that, you know, that kind of um, tapering design element from the hour markers is carried on to the to the hands here because it kind of ties everything together. The other thing I like are the minute markers, which are just printed on the dial, um, are the kind of the bright blue um and almost how would i describe this blue it, it's 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 even more of a royal blue but it's a, like a light blue it's almost a little bit of an electric blue it's a, it's maybe a little hard to explain and capture on camera but it's a really nice looking blue to me um and it's it gives a nice pop off the dial so the second hand obviously is where you see it but then you've got the the, the same color on the minute markers here and that kind of ties in uh, well with the blue here so just a little splash of blue it's kind of very subtle but it 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 shows that there is um some nice playfulness on the watch and and it's really subtle it, it, to me it's kind of like this may be a stretch for some people but mercedes-benz has a cla 250 um edition orange and it's just a cla but it has little orange accents uh stitching on the seats uh a uh, 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 trim on the the rim of the wheel in orange and it just kind of takes the car from being fairly pedestrian but makes it look sporty and that is kind of the same thing i get from here just a little bit of color and style really elevates the watch to the next level in my opinion um, I love that Mercedes too. It's pretty awesome. And, uh, you know, like, you know, think about it like a Nike or Adidas shoe or something like that. There's a lot of sneakers that look the same, but you throw on a little neon green, you throw on a little orange, a little uh, electric blue or something like that. And it just makes you look fast. Uh, anyway, the case is pretty cool. It's a uh, very cylindrical. It's got kind of that Nixon industrial style, some sharp edges, you know, a, a steep bezel right there. But I like the fact that it's not super rounded, that it's, uh, it, it's, it still maintains that kind of Nixon bold feel without uh, kind of going too wuss on me. And then the crown here is interesting because it has um, the logo there under what appears to be enamel or um, like a, a resin. I can't tell if it's super hard or not, <laughs> but that's cool too because it has kind of that baby blue um, color in it, a little bit more of an electric baby blue, but um, you know, it's just a nice feature because a lot of crowns are just, you know, metal with laser etching or something. So I, I like when companies do that. It just kind of adds a little bit of uh, additional color and style to it. You know, you got to do it right though. Uh, sometimes these these inserts here kind of fall out or wear really badly. But um, again, this watch is sub $100. I think I got it for about $80-ish. So I think a lot of cool modern style uh, in a watch that is not too expensive. Now, um, oh, there it says, attention, this leather will, leather will darken over time. And especially on leather that isn't specifically dyed to a particular color. Um, I could show you the Shinola leather here. You know, just with age, it becomes, um, you know, more weathered. There are cracks, there are area, highs and low areas that turn color. Um, if this watch band does that too over time, that'd be cool. I love that look. You can tell when a watch has been worn, used, the experiences it has, and then just you know what? People reclaim vintage leather and use them in a ton of stuff. It's actually pretty awesome. Uh, but the back here is just a, a screw off. Um, Nixon, never be late the century. Japanese quartz movement, 100 meter stainless steel. So uh, just really cool there. I don't think uh, it's a screw down crown at all. No, it just pulls in and out. Um, the other thing I'll throw out there is that it does have a date and date window. So that's actually a pretty nice feature. A lot of watches don't have that, but um, it gives it uh, you know, 
it kind of gives it a lot of functionality and it just looks cool i like useful printing on watches the other thing to me is it kind of looks a little scandinavian a little um, kind of that minimalist modern design which i think is a little in vogue kind of like the chrono watch or the movement chrono watches i showed you um, but you know you get it from a a reputable brand like Nixon who has a lot of experience making a lot of fashion watches um, a lot of them are not my style but this one really is so I'm I was really uh, happy to pick it up so Peter Von Panda for the Nixon Century leather natural black watch check it out I'll put a link to it in the description out